Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here with another review of the Ejo Classified Series Tsartan, which arrived today and I'm very excited to to be reviewing for you, with you, whatever you want to call it. First of all, let's just check that packaging, I mean the artwork, which is again specific a specific artist for each figure. I mean, the Cobra Trooper and the Cobra Infantry share the same artist because he's practically the same figure. Just anyway, Sartan here looking all, yeah, it's not someone you want to have around in your life, I guess. I mean, just look at those eyes. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, he's just a deceiver. Uh, yeah. Deception artist, I don't know what to call him, him, but yeah. Definitely, definitely, if there was, if there's something you can trust, you can't trust in Cobra, <laughs> I mean, and that's already saying a lot, is this guy. Am I right? The artwork with all the characters we have seen since the beginning of this line and plus plus some added ones i don't know who else is new i think beach had wasn't there from the very big since the very beginning i don't know uh, you know better than me i'm sorry so i'm new at this all this stuff that uh, yeah i guess very few people read i don't know but it has to be there I would prefer to see figures or something, but yeah, it's the thing, the way the the way things are. And I, I mean, I, this artwork is amazing, but I don't know why they just put it there every time, the whole time. I mean, they could put it on that card inside, on the other side, and yeah, and that makes sense. I mean, it, it also makes sense here, but it's the only line I remember that only has like boom an image there even if it's amazing it's i find it a bit weird like if ah we have no upcoming figures we have nothing to <laughs> to promote or announce here so just imagine anyway let's get this thing open and the kaboom there it is well no it's still not there boom bam by the way, I forgot mentioning, this guy is number 23, and it has all these things that indicate his abilities, ranks, whatever. Yeah, he's like, dead money, uh, no files, <laughs> honeycomb, and he's both a rapper and a bald guy doesn't matter go check them just go check that yourselves i mean it's uh, yeah other reviewers are doing that and not because i'm new and i just didn't even plan doing that so so here's sartan looking really menacing i mean the figure looks amazing even if i'm not i mean he's not britney spears you know or i mean <laughs> Who's Britney Spears for, for today's generations? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't need to have a guy dressed like this for me, but he's not doing it for me, of course, so let's do it. Let's take him out of the packaging. Come on, man. Collaborate. Get out of there. Yeah, thank you. Weird backpack. I mean, I think it's reminiscent of the original figures backpack. Yeah, it surely is. He's gone. Of course, a lot of tape for his, I would say, hands, but it's like a snake head and a monkey hand. Well, I don't know what Sartan does in his spare time, but. I also don't want to know it. And this 
very friendly face here. Mask, actually. So, boom, that's all the stuff he comes with. Oh, very nice. He's the first figure from this line I get. Well, not the first, but he's not dancing all around with all wobbly. Maybe he will get all wobbly, but at this moment he ain't. The shoulder pads are attached to the chest plate, armor, whatever. Yeah, he's looking really, really good. Let me just get him stand somewhere like here. Are you going to stay there, man? Good. Let's bring this guy from the previous review because, yeah, I mean, Transformers are amazing, yeah, but uh, we're doing G.I. Joe and this is an offense for the G.I. Joe community, but I don't care <laughs> because it's not intended. It's just, it's just, it's just that my Transformers were there and I was like, ah, just let's just leave them there for this little review filming. That's his backpack, and it's not just a backpack, it's like the little face mask. Uh, I don't know if they are created inside this, uh, I think I mean, this thing, like it's a machine that makes them, like pss, it has pipes and yeah, so I guess, yeah, it has, that's the latex container, the silicone, and uh, I don't know which material this thing would be made of. Anyway, it fits there, it doesn't fall off. Great. And it closes with four pegs that you have to, sorry, I'm not showing you. These four pegs, do you see them? Those two and two, which go into these four holes. You just align and push. And you have this thing which doesn't get fall open. And yeah, then we have the little snake head here oh god again this problem did it in no oh, it was there yeah man that was right and there it is this little snake head which is I mean it's not fully painted only the, the inside of the mouth surely some customizers will get that very nicely painted. It has a peg as well as the monkey uh, grip hand. Like Actually nice sculpt. A bit creepy, yeah, but it's a nice sculpt. It also has that peg because these two things go his belt here, you know, you see those big, that one, and that one, and we'll do that later. Then he also comes with this knife, uh, it's the first knife in the line, I mean, Scarlet's knives are, are good also, I mean, the, the larger ones, but this one is like, this, this is a real thing, <laughs> it's not, yeah. This can almost go all the way through. I mean, you like, yeah, you know what I mean. It goes all the way through someone's body. And he's very modern pistol, which I guess it's also, I don't remember my brother had the original certain figure. And yeah, it's quite probable that he's probable that that gun, I mean, like, this gun is like a remake of it, you know, like, ah, let's make a little homage of everything. Of, yeah, and I love that. We all love that because we all, <laughs> they are selling us on the nostalgia. <laughs> and yeah, we buy it. And that's all he comes with, actually. Then it's his uh, attachments, you know, the, the hood, which is really good. It's there. And ah, it's it has no peg or something. It just makes like like kind of snaps there. I mean, it has this ah, I see the ears. 
lock it and well i don't know if you can see there's like let me increase the light no increase no turn off and keep the white light you see that that little thing inside is where the ears fit and they like snap in kind of and of course there's also this like thing ah <laughs> he's i was say, gonna say bandana but i don't know if it's a bandana but you know what i mean he can he has this little plastic cloth piece around his neck and it's just a pull off Anyway, before we put all that back in, the articulation is the same, I guess, as every figure of the line. You know, the head actually can look all the way up. The famous squirrel. It has, I mean, it's a ball on a swivel on top of the neck. It has the tilt. <laughs> I'm doing this outside of the camera, man. This is gonna be terrible. Yeah, it has this tilt. The neck is on a ball that goes into the upper body. So, it, yeah, he can do, he has the moves, yeah. The arms, the shoulders are in a, oh, this is not a good one, I guess. I mean, the butterfly joint is, it seems totally useless there. That's bad. It really is it's moving but now it's really let's say discreet one or maybe i have to yeah look they make the butterfly joint but they they give it no room to uh, for movement it has no nowhere to go so it's there for some reason but not for a useful one <laughs> or maybe my figure is still too stiff but let me know if yours can move more than mine I won't force it. Well, of course, it has the the the, the bicep on the joint with the shoulder. The arm goes ninety degree over ninety. No, it's let's say ninety degrees. Yeah, and of course you can turn it. And as you can see, this shoulder pad. I mean, be careful because you don't want to twist it but it's flexible i mean i won't be doing this pose ever i guess but you can do it that's what i mean double jointed elbows and it has no pegs i mean they're not yeah they're in invisible pegs how they call them yeah he has a very nice armor it's it's not glued, it, well, this part is glued and this is painted. The hands, this is, this has the, yeah, of course, the, the swivel here and a vertical swivel for his grip. And this one has the trigger hand. Well, both hands are trigger hands, actually. Are they the same hands? No, I think no. No, I mean, at least he has different texture and sculpt, but trigger hands, you know? Oh, he has, both hands are vertical, swiveled. And of course, both arms move the same. The up crunch, really good. Nach, uh, nach forward, <laughs> nach, that's German. And going forward. Going back is also really good and it doesn't make any weird things here. You know, because he's all the day dancing Britney Spears songs and he's very fit. Whatever. <clears throat> he can do the hula hoop. I won't force it, but it's there, yeah. And of course the legs can... Can they? They can do the, the thing. And he has, uh, well, he can almost do, I mean, he can do the splits. Let's leave it like that. He's, of course, better than Spider-Man. <laughs> and yeah, the upper, this cut here, you know, 
upper leg cut. He has double knees and he can, yeah, he has a very good range. He can't smash his bottom, but yeah. You have the shin cut, really good. And the feet are, they have a decent rocker. And of course they have all this movement back and forward. It's also good. Of course, it gets interrupted by the sheen armor. And I mean, I think it's good enough. I think this figure is really great. And he stands there. Yeah. Apart from being all creepy, creepy he, he's a really great figure. This retired KISS fan. Let's see. Let's put his stuff back on. Let's gear him up. The knife. The knife goes in there like, uh, oh, of course, like this. Just by looking at the shape of the sheath. And what else? The creepy hands. I'll put the monkey hand behind, scratching his leg actually <laughs> and we'll put the snake head on front biting his the air <laughs> yeah i don't know if you know what i was about to say but it doesn't matter and his gun fits perfectly in well perfectly does it fit perfectly are you gonna get in there come on mm. There it is. It fits. Yeah, it's it fits, and it fits properly. It's like a modernized Luger gun. Yeah, look, it even has a little cylindric part there, and the backpack. Ah, and I'm forgetting something. Oh, where's the peg hole for this? Ah, there it is. It just I thought it was really gone it's just shifted around a bit all equipped the leader of the dreadnoughts looking good man he really is like a reptile a serpent <laughs> and yeah before i forget let's just see how this Oh, just look at that. Quite creepy, yeah? It's looking at you. <laughs> and then, no, man, how do you keep you there? Oh, it fits perfectly. I think if you take the hood off, it falls down, but otherwise it's, it's there. Great. Yeah, this figure really makes me, takes me closer to the Tartan character. It's not, I mean, it's a great character, yeah, but uh, it's not the first Cobra character I remember when I think of G.I. Joe, you know, I mean, of Cobra. And of course, you can, these pegs here are to fit, look, the, the knife, you can also hang it here. I guess it's for that. And the gun, you can also... No, the gun... Doch. Doch. Uh, yes, I think. Oh. Yeah, exactly there. The peg is exactly placed there where he can just put it there and pew, shoot his own ass. <laughs> anyway, the figure is amazing. And like, in, I'm, I'm a late bloomer in this line and I'm regretting it because I, I've i missed so much figures already or it will be a pain to get them. I don't know if that's meant for the finger. It seems it doesn't. It's not. But I really like this line. 
they're amazing figures even if some of them have a very loose app crunch who else do we have oh let, let stay there for a second my mate storm shadow here yeah i'm kind of a cobra guy but yeah and i'm waiting for my joes you know and more cobras actually i hope they get to their new home i mean here soon in the meanwhile i mean what do you think are you collecting this line sorry just comment below and how do you like it i mean i think it's amazing anyway that's all for today my very second review all unedited and just very random but i hope you could enjoy it see you around ciao ciao